Hey everyone, Thaw Steve here in the first in Texas DCMP here in the Apollo Division with 54-14 Paradox winners of the Belton and Houston District event as well as Impact winners at the Houston event. 54-14 has an amazing robot with a really hip, unique pivoted shooter, interesting swerve modification that they did and really nice amp mechanism. Really excited to talk about their robot that they actually built just for states here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. Natalie, talk to me about your drivetrain and, how, and your decision making between what you chose. Yeah, so for our drivetrain, we're using um, MK4i Swerve modules. Uh, with L3 gears, we're using Krakens for propulsion, and then for steering slash rotational, we're using Falcons. And what was that decision for, to choose those specific motors? Um, so Krakens allow us to have more torque and allow us to be faster. And then for, our fa for we chose Falcons instead of Neos, so we don't have to worry about um, wiring spark maxes on here. Understandable. And speaking of your swerve modules, I'm gonna hand it off to Mia. Talk to me about this inverted motor on a inverted sort of module. How does that work and why you guys did that? Um, so because our intake is under the bumper, for it to be wide enough to uh, fit the note through, uh, we had to flip our swerve modules to the, uh, the top instead of uh, being down below. Um, so we just attached them uh, from the top plate um, and then change like the spacing for the gear. Uh, yeah, we bolted it straight into the top plate. And so then we have like a guard to protect them. Uh, it just gives us enough room. Uh, it was actually not that complicated <laughs> to do. That's actually really smart and a good way to basically make it an MK for I slash not, I, I don't know. But speaking of your, I guess your frame as well, you have an interesting bumper mechanism. Talk to me about that. Right. So uh, this year we decided to put a lot of improvements into our bumpers because last season we had uh, a huge issue with them um, breaking. Uh, so we came up with a new uh, dovetail system to attach them. So we cut dovetails into the ends of our wood and then we glue them on, hammer them on, glue them on. And uh, we have a new latching system as well. Uh, so we have got these uh, latches from Southco. Uh, and then we actually machined our own striker plates um, because the ones from Southco kept uh, breaking. Um, and then we have like a 3D printed spacer and they just latch on uh, pretty easy. It just pushes on, yeah. And then it's super easy to take off because you just unlatch it. And it's been pretty strong for us for matches. Haven't had anything break yet. Amazing. And amazing system that you guys have for your bumpers. And talk to me about your intake that you have. Right. And it seems like your bumpers are also at an angle for it, but tell me about your intake. Right. So as Mia said, we do have a wide under the bumper intake. It goes across the entire span, starting around right here, ending around right here. So we actually, over under, underneath our robot, we have two silicone sleeve polycarb tubes that are run by Neo Vortex, and we can just feed our note into the intake like that, and it just comes out straight up and then gets fed straight into our shooter right here. It's a pretty, sim it's a pretty good design that was heavily inspired by uh, Grasshoppers and Spectrum, which are both Open Alliance teams, and it's worked out pretty well for us this season. Love mentioning the Open Alliance, what a big community they have towards first. Now heading it off to Ian, talk to me about your shooter mechanism that you have. Seems like you guys have double-sided T uh, belts and it runs your entire uh, shooter. Tell me about that. Yeah, so first up we have our feeder system. That's run off a motor, a Neo Vortex back here. That gets, gets a live axle through this pulley. 
right? This this feeder roller here, and then it's also belted down to this bottom one here. Then we have our our pivot, and I'm gonna power off for a moment. I can probably get the camera right here. Uh, we have our pivot. This is just a simple linkage driven off of this gear, that motor there. And that gives us uh, more stability, less backlash, and also gives us finer control at our lower angles. And that's helpful for when we're shooting long distances, which we can do because of, of this. So we have a roughly 2.5 to one abduction. So the wheels are spinning faster than the motor. Uh, it's a little different on this side to make it faster. So we add a little spin to the note. And then the way we're doing that, getting the, the different directions on the motors, or on the wheels, sorry, we have our uh, serpentine belt path. This is a double-sided belt from uh, V-Belt Guys. And yeah, that lets us uh, invert the direction of the top rollers so that we can, so that it works, right? Are we and able then, to see this um, happen in motion? Uh, yeah, yeah, we can enable and get that. Yeah, so that's uh, our second set of flywheels help stabilize the note as it's leaving. And then, so yeah, 16 three inch Animark stealth wheels in total. Uh, it's kind of a lot, but yeah, we have our hard stop down here and limelight for automatically adjusting the pivot. Uh, and yeah, that's... that's now, we saw this little movement over here. Uh, right, Vin, I'm gonna hand it back to you. Talk to me about this system you have right here. It says amp roller, but tell me more about it. Yeah, so this is uh, our amp bar. Essentially what it does is it twists all the way up. Uh, when we're against the amp, so our bumper's gonna be touching the, like, the base of the amp area, and we're gonna have this all the way out, and we'll basically shoot directly into the amp, and what this does is it basically prevents uh, the note from falling back out as we shoot into it, making sure that it gets uh, scored, it stays in the amp and it gets scored. And looking at your previous events, that has been really helpful for you guys. You seem like to be a feeder robot and an amp robot. How well has this been working out for you? It's been pretty good. We've been able to quickly pass notes off to our alliance partners, and we've also been able to score into the amp really fast so we can get the competition bonus. Uh, and also amplify as well. It's been really good for us uh, to be able to do that. Well, 5414, thank you guys so much for taking the time to walk us through your amazing robot. Again, two district wins and an impact uh, win as well. So excited to see you guys potentially winning it at this event. Good luck to you guys and congratulations on the great success you guys have so far. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions.